If I want to edit a polyline, I'm going to use my pedit or polyline edit command. This can be found on the modify flyout. I have edit polyline or pedit can be entered from the keyboard or its keyboard alias PE. When I activate this command, it asks me to select a polyline. In this case, I'm going to select this polyline, and these are the options that I have. I can open it, or I can join a polyline that's not joined. I can change its width, add splines, or I can decurve or undo. Let's say open. When I hit open, you notice that it removes a segment, generally the last segment drawn, and opens up my polyline. If I say close, it will replace that and close the polyline. If I say width, it wants me to specify a new width for all segments. So if I say 0.125, I've changed the thickness. Now you notice that my pedit command does not end. After I've made the changes that I want to make, I have to hit enter to end the pedit command. Another behavior uh, in editing polylines is here I have a situation where I have a polyline and then I have some line segments. I'd like to join these together. I'm going to use a fillet command and you'll notice that when I fillet a polyline and a non-polyline, when that felt's created, the regular line segment becomes a polyline. So I could continue filleting these, and you notice that they become polylines as they are joined. If I wanted this to be a closed object, I could use my P edit click on this polyline and say close and it will close that object. And turn this back into a regular line I would explode my polyline. Now if I have a set of regular line segments lines and arcs and I'd like to make this into a polyline I can use the join option in my pedit command. I'm going to choose uh, polyline edit from the tool palette modify and it asks me to select a polyline. Well I don't have a polyline these are all regular line segments but I can go ahead and click on one and now it asks me if I want to turn this into a polyline and I say yes. Now because I have multiple segments I want to join them together so I'm going to click on join and it wants me to select the object. So I'm going to select all the objects, including the first one that I selected. After I'm done selecting objects, I can hit enter, and I'm going to hit enter again to end the command. And now you notice that my line segments have become a polyline. If I wanted to make this into a closed polyline, I could take my polyline edit, click on this polyline, and then say close. You notice that the two endpoints then become a closed object. I can go ahead and fillet this by using my fillet command. I'm going to fillet this, these two edges, and I'm going to fillet these two that were the endpoints and you notice that it won't fill it. Cannot fill it polyline arc segments and it also can't fill it the last closing segments of my polyline. If I wanted to fill it this corner I would have to explode. Use my fillet command and then using pedit again join 
all the line segments together to form a polyline. Look at a situation where uh, making regular lines and arcs into polylines can speed up our drawing process. Here we have a mechanical part and you notice this slot and this hole are each surrounded on the outside by a boss surface. In constructing this drawing we've constructed the slot and we've constructed this hole by drawing arcs and circles and using fillet. But these are all individual line segments, not currently polylines. But I want to offset them to the outside. This is a complex set of curves and it would be difficult to offset them in individual segments. I'm going to use my p-edit command, click on one of these, and say that I want to join and make into a polyline all of these objects. I'm going to use a window to choose these objects and hit enter. And then I'm done. I'll do the same thing for the slot. I'm going to bring back my P edit, click on one of the segments, say I want to turn it into a polyline. Now I want to join. I'll use a window. I'm going to hold down the shift button to take that uh, arc out and hit enter and then end the command. So now these are both polylines. So we can use our offset. We're going to set this to 7.5 millimeters and I can offset this hole to the outside and offset this slot to the outside. And by using my polylines I've been able to replicate those complex uh, shapes. Also, because these shapes are now polylines, I can get additional information. Clicking on this closed polyline, I'll open the properties palette and I can see under geometry exactly what its length, perimeter, or its surface area inside of the closed object would be.